There's almost a mythic quality to the sun-soaked beaches of Southern California, like here in Ventura, just northwest of Los Angeles. But while there are blue waters for as far as the eye can see, a major threat to our oceans remains invisible. According to the UN, plastic accounts for 85% of all the oceans, litter, much of it being broken down into these tiny microplastics that end up being consumed by marine life. At one source of microplastics you might not expect, car tires. Walking to university every day and like passing by cars and just recognizing like, oh, every single tire is shedding this material and I'm breathing it in right now. It was really impactful for me and that was definitely a big motivator where I'm like, we need to do something to stop this now. Yeah. 28-year-old Siobhan Anderson is part of the next generation of scientists and entrepreneurs developing solutions for a more sustainable world. The problem she's tackling? Tire dust. They can fly into the air, they also land on the road and then get washed into our oceans. We're finding it everywhere. They've even recently found it in ice core samples in the Arctic, um, going back 50 years or so. Every time a car brakes, accelerates, or turns a corner, Tiny particles known as tire dust get released from the wheels. According to experts, more than a million tons of it is produced each year in Europe alone, becoming a major source of microplastic pollution in the ocean. At their workspace in central London, Anderson and her team, the Tire Collective, are developing a device to trap tire dust at its source. The clean tech startup was formed in 2020. This is one of the first test rigs that we built and this was really just to prove the core technology that electrostatics could be used to collect the particles as they're flying off from the contact patch. Hugo Richardson is the company's chief technology officer. He says his team is focused on a truly zero emission future. Our long-term vision is to have these devices integrated into every vehicle so it's almost like a catalytic converter for your tires. So we're hoping this will become the, the norm that everyone will be capturing tire wear and it will no longer be a a pollution that we have to worry about. Last year, the Tire Collective teamed up with Zero, a local green logistics company, to test out their device on the road. When we realized that there was a device in development that could help reduce those and collect those emissions, we knew we wanted to be a part of that process. In Ventura, Dr. Lisa Erdl is combing the beach for plastic contaminants. She studies the impact of plastic pollution on the environment at the Five Gyres Institute, a California-based nonprofit. When did tire dust first come to your attention and what was your initial reaction when you found out about it? When we look at storm water, so the water that's running off of streets and in sediment, we see a lot of these tire particles, this black, squishy rubber with a chemical signature that matches exactly to tires. This is definitely a fishing line. Ertl says that although most people associate microplastic pollution with single-use plastics, there are other, lesser-known sources like textiles and tires. Some plastics float, some plastics sink, and the type of plastics that you find in the middle of the ocean, very different from what you'd see on the seashore. Yeah, in the middle of the ocean, you see a lot of plastics that can float. But when we're talking about near shore, we'll see particles that are, are sinking and remaining in the sediment. Ertl says solving this issue will require a multi-pronged approach from waste management to redesigning products like car tires to shed less. By finding what particles are in the environment, looking at where they're coming from, we can turn off the tap to plastic pollution by targeting these different solutions. The color codes are the inclination, and you can kind of see this geosynchronous orbit here on the outside. In his own work as the chief scientific advisor at Privateer, Moraba Ja is focused squarely on solving the challenge of space junk. For him, it's a matter of existential importance. I'm really a believer in interconnectedness and that stewardship is the path for humanity to be able to thrive. Those are the things that kind of permeate everything that I try to do, which is the creation of solutions together. Final question that we ask all our guests in the program is, is your technology a tech for good and why? This is a fully charity, nonprofit, philanthropic exercise. And I would say that good is the only reason why every of us get out of bed in the morning. I absolutely think this is tech for good. I mean, our company goal is to reduce this pollution and ensure we have equal access to clean air and water for everyone. We want our technology to help to solve this problem, to basically reduce the negative impact of noise. We are losing this battle of environmentalism unless each of us 
tries to understand that we're not just passengers on spaceship Earth, we're crew, and that we have a responsibility 